Okay. So my question is, how can a video conferencing tool help with accessibility? You know, accessibility, I'm talking about making information, making learning, making content more accessible to all kinds of learners. Think about language, think about um, disabilities that are related to cognitive or, or visual or auditory. What are some of the tools that can help with that? Well, in Meet, I'm gonna put my Meet into the sharing window. And so you're gonna see that uh, infinity window. I'm gonna put this over here and it's gonna give me the warning. Okay, so it's gonna give me that. But I wanted to show you that all you have to do is turn on the closed captions. And now whenever I speak, it's going to have the captions. It's, it's understanding, it's transforming my speech into text. It's including the punctuation, which is really nice. So it's even better than closed captions that you might see in some uh, video productions, correct? And this, this is amazing because it will also translate them in Google Meet. I'm gonna put the language as English. I'm gonna turn on translated captions and I'm gonna go with the first one there and see how it translates them into Chinese. So now the my captions are being translated into Chinese because I, I clicked on the translation. So if a teacher had a student who needed that language support and they were able to read, this could be a very helpful tool. You could have the meet going all the time. You don't have to have the meet just for uh, distance learning, but you could have it going on in the classroom and the student could follow along. And I think that's pretty awesome. I think, I don't know about you, but this is just one of the best hidden secrets about what AI is able to do for us. Um, just wonderful. Think about some, what are some of the other implications of uh, automated translated captions? A couple other settings that use AI, if you could dig around in team, I mean in Meet, is the visual effects. It, it does use AI to improve the image and to apply, apply images. See how it does. Yeah, it's not applying that effect, is it? There it is. So now I am a robot and I am powered by AI because it is reading my facial expressions and my movement and I won't talk like a robot forever. So can you think of a application of uh, these effects, these visual effects? Let me turn this off. How about engagement? You know, oh, there we go. Hi there, partner. My name is Mark and I'm happen to lead this session right now. <laughs> That's too much fun. I gotta stop. Anyway, I am not a cat. <laughs> I think with young children or children that um, are, are just, you know, having a hard time opening up, uh, this might be a way, a way to help them loosen up a little bit, maybe relax and have a little fun and be, be ready to be ready to learn something. Okay.